So these are technology standards for students set by International Society for Technology and Education, ISTE-ST. These technology standards are, in a way, technology goals for students. So as a student, you must meet these goals, and at the same time, as a teacher, you must think about how to help your students meet these goals. So your goal is to strive to be an educator who skillfully mentors and inspires students to amplify learning with technology and challenges them to be agents of their own learning. Simply put, it is to create digital age learners. So there are a couple of overarching questions. One is, what do or will digital age learners look like? The other question is, what does or will digital age learning look like? So today we're going to focus on the first technology standard. So here, we are trying to create empowered learners. So your students must be able to leverage technology to take an active role in choosing, achieving, and demonstrating competency in their learning goals informed by learning sciences. So let's take a closer look. Um, your students must learn to articulate and set personal learning goals, develop strategies, leverage in technology to achieve them, and reflect on the learning process itself to improve learning outcomes. So your students must recognize and evaluate the steps taken to meet the learning goals and what worked. Why did things unfold as they did? What could be approached differently? What will you do differently in the future? Your students must also learn to build networks. For example, they need to learn to enrich learning by making online connections with other learners and experts for personal or academic interests. For example, via social media, connecting through email, video conferencing, digital pen pals, etc. They also need to learn to customize their learning environments in ways that support the learning process. Your students must learn to use technology to seek feedback that informs and improves their practice and to demonstrate their learning in a variety of ways. Feedback can be digital, such as spell check and grammar check tools, online search, learning analytic programs that measure how time is spent on a problem or identify specific challenge areas. Feedback can be human feedback, for example, via collaborative spaces that allow others to give feedback, reaching out to experts for input, and so on. Alright, and there's more. Your students must understand the fundamental concepts of te technology operations. So they need to have basic knowledge of how to use devices and software applications. And they must be able to demonstrate the ability to choose, use, and troubleshoot current technologies as well. They need to be able to solve technical problems, for example, restore a device, install software updates, transfer work from one device to another, and troubleshoot when audio or video won't play, and so on. And finally, it is probably the most important, they need to learn to transfer their knowledge to explore emerging technologies. You can't always have a teacher teaching them how to use technology, so they need to learn how to learn technologies on their own. Now, as a teacher, you must ask yourself, what can we do as a teacher to help our students attain these goals? How can we create empowered learners? So that's the first technology goal students as well as teachers must strive to achieve.